All right. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me adjust this right quick, huh? We'll get it going. All right. Perfect. Cool. Um, well, welcome, 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 Legacy Life. Welcome to the Monday night Legacy Life team call. Tonight is uh, October 21st, 2024, for y'all watching the recording. For those of you that are with us tonight, welcome. Um, super excited. We just came out of the event, as y'all know, boot camp. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. We're also going to talk about some stuff that's up and coming. I'm going to share with you some, some breakthrough things I learned at the event, share that, uh, that love and that value with you, and we'll get into some other good stuff. But uh, for those of you I've had not had the pleasure of meeting yet, my name is Dan Hoyt. I hail from the mean streets of Broomfield, Colorado. And, uh, you know, been with, been with the company a couple of years now, absolutely loving it. And um, we're having a lot of fun. So very first thing is I'll, uh, what I want to say is I know that some of you are brand new. And by the way, this cricket is on another level. If you guys can hear that, I am so sorry. I looked for this thing forever. I don't know. Anyways, for those of you that are brand new on the team, welcome. We're super, super happy to have you. Uh, welcome to the team. Welcome to the family. Welcome to the movement. And, um, you know, you're, you're part of something special. And by the end of this call, we're going to, we're going to make sure you know that, but, uh, there's something, you know, that I say at the beginning of a lot of calls, which is, you know, a lot of, a lot of times people join our business and they want to build a, um, Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you for saying that you, I just got a text saying that, that y'all can't hear the cricket. Thank God. Cause this thing is so loud. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Anyways. So um, a lot of times people get into our business and you might have got into this just to sell financial services, life insurance, and all that kind of good stuff. And if that's the case, rock and roll. That's super awesome. You will absolutely make more money here than you ever have anywhere else. Uh, I can guarantee you that as long as you put in the work. But uh, for a good chunk of people, uh, they got into both sell and to build a business. And so, you know, a lot of times people right when they get in, they're like, okay, teach me about leadership. And before you can lead a team, you first have to lead yourself, right? And that's usually the hardest part is because lots of times we want to look at what other people should be doing, right? If so-and-so would just do X, then I would get Y, Z, if that makes sense, right? It's like, if, if somebody would just do this, that, and the other, or oh, I'm noticing they're not putting in enough work. And we're always so focused on other people. But the hardest thing a lot of the times is just to be a leader of one, which is yourself. And so I want to commend you, especially if you're brand new, uh, for being on tonight because you're taking time out of your evening. You're taking time away from your hobbies, from your family, from your work. Some of y'all are at work right now tuning in. Uh, I respect it. I respect it. And um you know, you're taking time out for this. And I take that very seriously. And I want to add a lot of value to you. But I, I first want to, con uh, I first want to congratulate you for taking the first step. It's like, you are a leader right now, you are doing leadership activities, because it, where you are in life right now is a culmination of the decisions that you've been making for the last six months. So your income, your free time, your mental health, all that kind of stuff is a is a culmination of the decisions that you're making day in and day out. And so by being on this call, whether it's right now on October 21st or it's sometime in the future, you are deciding you're making a decision to step away from everything else, the stuff that you'd normally be doing right now to get on this call. So you have my respect. I love chatting with leaders. And right now that's where we are. And if you do it enough times, people will want to know how you got your results. How did you lead yourself enough times to get the results? And then they'll just follow you because you're going somewhere, right? Leading is just as simple as that. Decide where you're going, go. And people that also want to get there will start following you. So uh, we just got back from boot camp, which is absolutely amazing. We had a lot of fun. For those of you that weren't there, shame on you. All right. We had a great time. Um, we learned a, a bunch of great stuff. They had a new format for this event, which was really unique. And a lot of people really enjoyed it where um, you could choose a different room. They were teaching different topics in different rooms. So people could decide, what do I really want to know at this point in my business? Because I think we'll all agree whether it's a movie you've seen a bunch of times, maybe it's a book, uh, you know, for a, a lot of my close friends and family, it's the Bible, but it's like, there's, there's different things where 
you can see the same thing over and over again, but depending on where you are, where you are in life, it, you're going to get a completely different message from it. And so what's cool is this time, instead of keeping everybody in the same room, we got to go into different rooms and learn different topics that were interested in that's relevant to you at this stage in your business. So that was really cool. Uh, a lot of people got some great value out of that. Um, we, uh, um, you know, I'd, I'd like to take a, a minute just to talk to everybody that went to that event because there is something called an event hangover. And if you didn't go, still pay attention, take notes on what I'm about to say, because you're going to go to an event at some point if you're going to be successful in this business. You cannot be successful in this business and not go to the events, especially in the in the beginning. Right. And so um, what I'm about to talk about is going to apply to everybody. All right. But there is something called an event hangover. It's very common. And what happens is, is that people, uh, they'll go to an event and they'll have a great time and they'll learn a bunch and they'll take a ton of notes and then they'll come back from the event and they won't do anything. And the reason they're not doing anything is because they're in a state of overwhelm. You got, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years of experience between the different trainers of how to succeed in this business. And they gave a big chunk of their secrets and of their steps and all that kind of stuff in the course of two, three days. And so you've got 20, 40, 50 years worth of experience being condensed into two, three years, which is amazing. But a lot of times, especially when you're brand new, it's like drinking from a fire hose and you don't know where to start. And so the first thing I want to say is go through your notes and pick three, no more than three. I know it's hard, but you need to pick three things that stand out to you that will make the biggest impact in your life or in your business right now. You're going to go back to these things over and over and over again. That's the beautiful thing about notes, especially if you're doing it digitally. It's like they're always going to be there. All right. Um, but you, uh, if you try to implement too many things, you're going to overwhelm yourself. So what you need to do is just pick out three easy things, three things that when you heard that, you were like, mm, that's good. That's the one thing I've been missing. See, at these events, you'll always find a key to the to the door of the next level of your business. There's always a door, right? Because there's something that you don't know or there's something you don't believe yet, right? There's something you don't believe yet or there's something that you don't know. It's either a skill or a belief, okay? And it's, it's what's preventing you from getting to the next level in your business. So it's like when you go to these events, the key to that door is always, always at that event, I don't know how it works this way, but it is. It, it always is at the event. If you're paying attention, right? If you're in the hallway jacking around or whatever, you might not have got it, but there's always the key, okay? But more so than just not hearing the key or finding the key, it's that there's a bunch of other keys too to other doors and you got to find the right one, right? It's There's so many gold nuggets of what you could do to, to be better in your business. And we have to narrow it down to three. Okay. Why three? It's just the most effective. I don't know why it works. I was taught that a long time ago and it works. So you, you narrow it down to three and then out of that three, you find the one. Okay. You find the one that you can implement right now. The biggest mistake that a lot of people make, they'll go to a conference, whether you're going to Tony Robbins or you're going to, you know, uh, any of these other conferences, GoPro, Tony Robbins, whatever, or an Alliance or Legacy Life event. And the problem is, is that you try to implement all of these things at the same time, and then you just don't do anything because you're overwhelmed, right? So if you just have the one thing, it's like, and we say, um, I'm going to start this next week. I'm going to start this next week. And now we have a big problem because now you're in the, you're forming the habit of procrastination, right? So overwhelm will lead to procrastination, and procrastination will lead to more overwhelm and so on and so forth. So what we need to do is figure out what is the one thing I can implement right now? Not tomorrow, not next week, not next month. Some of y'all have already given up on the month. Blows my mind, right? Some of y'all are like, in November, I'm going to get it. I'm, when you just, you wait. November, I'm going to get it. Guess what happens in November? December, you're mine. I'm, I'm going to own you. Two weeks into December, you're like, oh, we've got Christmas coming up, even though Christmas is only like, a day, a day and two days if you're counting Christmas Eve, but then you're like, all right, 2025, I'm going to get it, right? So we have to, again, we have to take the first step of leading ourselves before we can lead anybody else, right? Uh, there's a there's a, the, the parable in the Bible about the speck, you know, don't point out the speck, the, the speck in somebody else's eye when there's a plank in yours. And that's another thing you can apply in the business, like, 
first, first take action in your own business before you tell anybody in your team to take action in theirs. Okay. And so uh, let's pick one thing. And then when we get off the phone, and that's a little bit of procrastination, right? Because that, that's several minutes from now, but never make a commitment without action towards it. So we need to figure out what is that one thing you learned? And if you weren't at the event, What's the one thing you've learned on this call? What's the one thing you've learned in the last week? What is one thing you've heard your upline or mentor in this business say that you haven't implemented yet, but you know it's going to move the needle? Let's do it right now, right? Uh, Andy says that there's now and there's right now. He's got to watch. One, one hand says now and the other one says right now. And it, it, it really is true. So find the three, narrow it down to one. And then once the one has become habit, then move on to the second one. Once the second one has become habit, then move on to the third one. Now, these major events are 90 days out. That means that you've got uh, 30 days to develop the habit on each one of those key movers so that next time the next event rolls around, you've already implemented three new habits towards your business. So if you do that over and over and over again, at the end of the year, you've implemented several new habits, which is how you elevate yourself in this business. All right. So next thing. And this goes again for any time you're doing an event, anytime you're learning something, even a book, right? Anything where you feel inspiration. Let me hear from you guys in the Q&A, right? Just let me know if you were at the event this weekend and you felt inspiration, right? You felt a calling on, uh, on your life. You felt a calling to do something greater than what you're doing now. Let me know in the Q&A, okay? Because... Um, Anytime that you feel inspired, you have to record it, okay? Uh, something that's worked really, really well for me over the years, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's a form of journaling, is when you go somewhere and you, you become inspired, you need to write yourself a letter. See, every day what we do is we try to drag our old self, our old identity into new life. I don't know if you know this, but you are not the same person you were yesterday, not only because of new information, new experiences, but the cells in your body, like you've replaced most of the cells in your body, right? So you are not the same person you were yesterday, rest yesterday. So, but we keep trying to drag the old version of ourselves into the new goals, into the new life, right? Um, and so it's like, how in the world can you run a sprint in this business if you're dragging 20 of your old corpses? If you're dragging 20 or 30 of your old corpses, of your old identities, of the old ways that pe you think people think you should be, because oftentimes our identity comes from who we think other people think we are. Think about that. You try to maintain your current identity because you're worried about the judgment of other people, uh, of it shattering their perception of who they think you are. So it's not who you think you are. It's who other you think other people think you are. All right. And so you need to get over that right now. And we need to stop dragging the corpses of our old identity with us into new goals and new life. And I was, I was telling this to uh, Jameson. Um, if you haven't met Jameson, he's my son. Very proud of him. He's going to crush the business, doing very well. But I was talking to him and, and, and another analogy for that is old keys don't work in new locks. Like you don't bring the keys from your old house when you move into a new house right? The new house signifies a new start and a new life. You get new keys for the new lock, right? And so a way to do that, a way to journal that, and a way to keep a commitment to yourself is to either A, write down a letter to yourself, or my, my personal preference is to do a selfie video. So after every event, major event, I'll find some more quiet, some more private, because I'm going to have a conversation with myself. And by the way, only you can call you out on your own bullshit right? Sorry for the French. All right. But it's like only you know when you aren't giving it 100%. Only you know when you're lying or when you're justifying, right? Only you know that. And you know yourself better than anybody else. So you can sell other people all the time on why your goals, are, why you're not getting to the goals, why, you know, you're not achieving the what you set out to achieve, you know, why you're not playing 100%. You can justify it. And a lot of times if you're good at sale selling, they'll believe you. But you know, you know, when, when, when it's just BS, right? And so what I encourage you to do after an event or after anything, anytime you feel major inspiration, maybe you're at a church service, you know, maybe you're deep meditation, you know, ayahuasca, whatever you're doing, all right? Or you're at an event, 
and you feel like you just have a, a huge epiphany or you're, you're extremely um, motivated for change, you're inspired, okay? What you want to do is get out your, your phone and start recording yourself in selfie mode and, and, and talk to yourself. In that moment, you're at a higher vibration. You're at a higher level in your life. And so you can talk to the low level, the low vibration uh, piece of you for later. See, when we're at these events, we we come out of it with our hair on fire. We're excited. We're pumped. We're inspired, right? But that's because the events are the locker room. When when you get home and you have to face your family or, or your negative spouse or your friends that don't think you're going to do anything with this, or even you know you and your quiet when it gets quiet so a lot for a lot of people is when you get all the self doubt, you know, or you go out into the field and you have a bad day. All right. That's, that's not the locker room anymore. That's you being on the field. Everybody can be tough and hyped in the locker room. It's when you go on the field and start getting hit a bunch, right. When the other team is trying to take you out and you're look, you're like worn out, you're beat up. It's like, how do I keep going? And so if you have a video talking to yourself, it's like, Hey, Dan, I know that, you know, right now this is going on in your life. This is going on in your life. This is going on in your life. But this is what you want for your life. I see that for you. I believe that for you. I know you can get that for you. All right. But these are the things I want you to think about right now. Because this is what I'm thinking about right now. And this is what I believe. And this is why we need to do this. And you start talking about the reasons of why you need to succeed. A lot of times when the pain is high and the frustration is high, we're not thinking about the gratitude. We're not thinking about how grateful we are that we have this opportunity. We're not thinking about the goals anymore. We're not thinking about the reasons why we need to, to, to succeed. And so if you do this selfie, whenever you get down, let's say you have a bad day in the field, it happens to everybody, everybody. So don't ever think like, oh, all my people, you know, I had 10 appointments and everybody bailed on me. Don't you for a second think that hasn't happened to every single one of us because it has over and over and over again. And I tell this to everybody on my team. Uh, you can have a bad day. It's going to happen now and again, right? Every once in a great while, you'll have a bad week. And again, this is assuming that your activity stays constant, okay? So it's like you can have a bad day. Every once in a while, you'll have a bad week, but you will never, ever, never, ever, ever, never, ever, never, never, ever, ever, never have a bad month, okay? And so, but there's going to be times where you need a nudge. And I also recommend getting an accountability buddy Get a friend that, that helps you, you know, whenever you're just feeling like, hey, I got beat up today. You have somebody that can speak life into you and remind you of, number one, the badass that you are. And number two, the goals that you have and why it's important to you, right? But let's say you don't have that readily available. It's much easier to just push play on a video where you're talking to your future self that you know is going to get beat up in the field. And that way you can be your own coach. You will listen to you before you listen to anybody else because you know you better than anybody else. So you can call yourself out. So highly recommend you do that. If you got questions, I'm happy to talk about that in depth more at some other juncture. But I just wanted to, to pass that along to you because it's been a huge, huge, huge benefit to me and a lot of people on the team doing that kind of self-reflection, getting an accountability buddy, you know, doing these videos uh, to keep us on track. Let's see here. They also announced, this is pretty exciting. So uh, for 2024 is the qualifying year to go on the 2025 trip of Cabo. Okay. So still plenty of time to do that. Literally, if you found, like, let's say you're brand new today and you found a couple sizable annuities, you could still make it to the Cabo trip. All right. You, you absolutely, there's plenty of people in this business, whether it just be writing a ton of business whether it be, you know, that plus annuities, there's plenty of people in this business that have qualified from scratch to go on to the, uh, the incentive trip where the company pays for everything uh, for us to go on these trips. And they, they've done that in a very short amount of time. So you've, you've got plenty of time if you get after it. Now, if you're on track and you're close, time to push it over the edge. Make sure that you're not leaving anything up to chance. Uh, if, if this was a boxing match or an MMA match or anything like that, we would say don't leave it up to the judges. OK, you got to knock this sucker out. you got to get past the finish line. Don't let it be a photo finish. OK. And uh, but just so that you all know, last year we did um, earlier this year, we all went to Alaska. We went on Alaskan cruise. It was absolutely phenomenal. They pay for your flights. They pay for your food. They pay for your activities like it is insane. You just get pampered. There's gifts in your room, on your bed. Like we got. I think it was like $200 binoculars and these really nice jackets and all this kind of stuff. Just, just cause they treat us like royalty. 
Um, so we're doing uh, the next trip is to Cabo. So in 2024 is the qualifying year. And then in uh, April or June of 2025, we're going to Cabo. Now, in 2025 will be the qualifying year for Thailand. Guys, I've always wanted to go to Thailand. I like there's the elephants and the jungle and the food and the ocean. And I'm a big scuba diver. Uh, there's amazing scuba diving out there. I'm fired up. I'm fired up. And so the trip is to Thailand. Uh, the flights alone are bananas expensive. So the fact that that's all going to be comped, uh, it's you plus a guest. Okay. So you get a plus one, which is silly good, silly, silly good to Thailand. Bucket list trip, um, super, super pumped. So especially if you're brand new, start getting into the habits of winning now, right? Because winning is a habit. It's a collection of smaller habits, but itself uh, is a habit. Get in the habit of winning now so that you're already in momentum. You've already got traction going into 2025. Don't play this game of like, oh, I'm going to sandbag for the next couple months uh, until 2025. That's BS and that's a loser mindset. Okay. Just get traction. That way you're cruising through 2025. You're not climbing. Okay. It's much easier to maintain 60 miles an hour than to get to 60 miles an hour, if that makes sense. Um, cool. So the next thing what we want to talk about is, uh, and, and by the way, you can find all this in your back office, in your ARC. Um, there'll be details on everything we're talking about tonight. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, how, are, how are you treating your business and how are you going to get better than your competition? Okay. What, here's what I mean by that. Let's say you wanted to start a business. Any kind of business. Let's say, for you know, example, you wanted to buy a McDonald's franchise. Uh, you're going to spend a couple million dollars. Okay, uh, they pick your location. You have to you have to hire staff. You have to do all this stuff, um, and it's going to be a great while before you make any of your money back. Okay, but that is a traditional business. Here, a lot of times we get into this business and we like the the, the catchphrase of "Oh, I'm a business owner." but yet we're not treating it like a business. We are treating it like we are the world's best boss and we give ourselves every single day off. We get to, we get to come in late, leave early, right? All that kind of stuff. Um, when you're, when you're starting a business, you have to have, uh, you have to have, let's say in the McDonald's case, you have to have your buns and your hamburgers. You have to have your cheese. You have to have all your condiments. You have to have all of the product you're going to sell. Then you have to hire the staff. You have to treat this like a business because if you don't, uh, and you also have to have hours of operation, right? Because if you don't, you will not succeed and you'll be at a couple million dollars. Now, in that case, uh, most McDonald's owners are going to earn a hundred, couple hundred thousand dollars a year after spending millions. Okay. I want you to understand this because it's important. In our business, it costs you next to nothing to get started. It costs, uh, you know, uh, you, you know, you, you have to buy, uh, you have to buy ingredients, right? The ingredients here are the leads. Okay. So you have to have a budget for your leads. Again, treat this like a business. You have to outline your hours of operation. All right. What hours are you going to be in business? If people can't depend on you to be in business at certain hours, then they're not going to treat you at all serious because you're not being serious. Right. And so, you have to have your hours of operation. You got to have your ingredients or your leads. You have to have your product to sell, right? In our, in our case, it's the leads, all right? So you, you need to find a lead source that you can consistently get. Get with the person that brought you into the business and they'll help pair you with the right lead source for not only your experience level, but your location because it's different, all right? Uh, but you need to also think about what are the other expenses? If you have a building, right? You have the real estate costs, you have electricity, gas, heat, like all of this kind of stuff goes into it beyond just the burgers. Okay. Y'all with me? Um, you have all the machinery, you have the mixers, you have the grills, all this kind of stuff. So you're in it super deep. All right. And it's going to take you many, 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 many years to become profitable in this business. It costs you next to nothing to get started. You know, even if you were doing really a, a lot of leads and let's say that's a thousand dollars a week, that is nothing when it comes to how to run a business and the, and the costs associated, you didn't have to go to a four year, a six year, eight year degree, uh, all right, to do this business, all right? And you can make millions of dollars very shortly. So it's like, you can either do McDonald's where you're spending millions of dollars to make a couple hundred grand, 
or you can have the mentality of like, I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but I'm going to get after this. I'm going to spend a couple hundred grand to make millions of dollars. Now, it's not going to be a couple hundred grand, but that's the mindset you have to have. Does that make sense? It's like you need to start, uh, you need to stop thinking in terms of what it's costing you and start thinking in terms of how do you want and how much do you want to invest in yourself and your business and how fast do you want to grow it? So if you want to grow your business, you need to invest in your business. So the ways that you can invest in your business is, of course, investing in yourself, investing in your leads. All right. So if you are brand new and you do not have a lead source set up, Get with the person that brought you into the business and they will help you get started with this. You cannot run your business without ingredients, without shipments, without product. You have to have these things. Now, the other cost associated with our business is the events. OK, now the reason why I would happily spend 10 X on the events than we do. Luckily, it's just a couple hundred bucks, which is a joke. All right. My first business when I was 15, uh, 16 rather, uh, was about 15 grand to start. OK, I had to borrow money. I, I mowed a lot of lawns. I did a lot of work. All right. And um, I got help from family. But at the end of the day, it was 15 grand to get that business started. Another business I started later in life was 60 grand just to get the just to get the equipment. OK, here it's a couple hundred bucks to get started with your, you know, your courses and all that kind of stuff. And then you're going to spend a couple hundred dollars. Let's say you spend a thousand dollars four times a year for the events uh, and then your leads. All right. It is nothing. And you can make hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars in this business okay and you have to think of it as an investment and not a cost right you have to think about it how can you invest in your business you just like a, a tree or anything like that you have to feed it if you don't feed this business it will die okay you have adopted a puppy that is your business and if you don't feed this sucker it's going to die all right sorry for the animal people but i'm trying to really drive this home because no matter how many times we say this uh, people are like, what do you mean? You know, I, I, you know, I'll put in a hundred dollars a week, 250, the people that are really serious, they're putting a thousand dollars a week in. Okay. Now, if you don't have the ability to do that, I highly recommend finding it or just be really, um, frugal, right. With your spending on, on your, on your personal life stuff for like a month or so, and then get it going with a week of a thousand dollars worth of leads that you'll make enough in that thousand dollar week lead thousand dollar lead week uh to more than than pay yourself back like we are profitable when we do these things okay but here's what i'm getting at there's lots of things that you need to invest in if you want your business to grow the other thing you need to invest in in the main thing is yourself because in the beginning you are your business so it's like what are the ways that you can invest in yourself to grow your business. Again, you in the beginning are your business. So if you want to invest in your business, you have to invest in yourself. How do you do that? The fastest way to do that is to create the maximum amount of leverage. What do you mean, Dan? How do I create leverage? In any business, the businesses that are the biggest are the ones that create the most leverage, okay? Uh, whether it be through technology, through labor, whatever, they are leveraging the most amount of people, the most amount of technology, the most amount of systems. They are creating the most amount of leverage to become the biggest companies in the world. So what we need to do is you need to invest in leverage to collapse timeframes. And, and what's really important in the beginning is your skill level. See, as time goes on, there's other, other things that you'll need to create leverage in. But in the very beginning, you need to create leverage in your skill level okay you need to create leverage in your skills okay so right now let's say you're at a one out of ten skill how do we get you to a five a seven or a ten the fastest way i've ever seen to create leverage in that way uh and to collapse the time frames let's say it would take you 10 years normally to learn this stuff is to find somebody that knows how to do it meaning find somebody that has the skill that you want to learn okay find somebody that has a skill you want to learn Ask them if they'll teach you. And if they're willing to teach you, which most times they are not, or they want a crazy amount of money, right? Imagine if you wanted to learn how to play basketball and you wanted to learn from LeBron or you wanted to learn from Jordan, right? Imagine how much that would cost you per hour to learn from them. It would be absurd, right? It'd be astronomical. So out of the reach for a lot of people. In this business, we have the LeBrons. We have the Jordans of financial services in our company because our company is badass and so we attract the best of the best of the best of the best all right and so we have an opportunity um, in january uh 24th through the 26th it's our next event 
Okay. And if you were at all serious about building your business, AKA building you, then you will be at that event right now. You might already be thinking like, where am I going to come up with the money? Get to work. All right. Get to work, borrow it, do whatever you need to do. Because again, you will, especially in the beginning, you have no shot at this thing unless you are getting around it and learning it from the people that are doing it best. So we need to collapse these time frames. Okay. And let me know if you're with me and if I'm making sense here, use the Q and A would love to hear your feedback. I can't see you. So I don't know if you're fist pumping. I don't know, you know, what's going on, but hopefully you all are, are understanding, you know, picking up what I'm putting down, but it, it's like, if you were serious, there are some things that you need to do in order to be successful. For example, if I, if I was serious about my health, there is some things that I cannot get away from, right? Like exercise, like a proper diet, um, like getting around a fitness, the community of fitness, all that kind of stuff. It's like, you can't skip these steps and still expect to be fit. Okay. You can't eat like absolute garbage and then wonder why you're not getting fit. You can't not, you know, exercise and wonder why you're getting winded going up a flight of stairs. All right. It's like, there are fundamental truths in everything and the fundamental truth. And I care about you. That's why I'm, I'm telling you this unfiltered is like, you need to be there. I don't care how you get there. I don't care if you're in a room full of 10 people, like what we had to do way back in the day. All right. We were so hungry for, uh, for someone to teach us how to win someone to teach us business, someone to care enough about us that they would, they would pass along the, 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 the knowledge and the experience to us that we were willing to go sleep 15 deep in a hotel room, sleeping in the, in the bathtub, sleeping on the floor, you know, three, four people to a bed, five people to a bed. All right. It was ridiculous. We were in our early twenties, but you know, a lot of people thought we were crazy, but we were willing to do whatever it took to win. And that's the mindset you need to have. You need to shift your mindset into what's convenient, what's comfortable to whatever it takes. I don't care what it takes, but I want to be over here. I want to get to a place in my life where I don't have to check my bank account to make a decision. I want to get to a place in life where I can go eat at the fanciest restaurants and never look at the price. I want to get to a place in life where I walk through my community and I'm respected and admired because of the person I've become. I want to walk out of my bedroom and I want my kids, my wife, my husband, I want my family to, to be proud of who I am. I'm making the decision that I want to be that person. And that's, that takes a whatever it takes mentality. That's not a what's convenient, what's comfortable. If I can get around to it, if it fits in my schedule, that will never get you here. That's going to keep you here because that is the old you. That is the corpse of the old you. That is the key to the door to the old past of you talking. All right. And most of that, again, is the expectation of the people we surround ourselves with that we don't want to break character of who they know us as, because then we're going to get flack. We're going to, they're going to say, well, you've changed. I don't even know who you are anymore. You used to want to party. You used to want to get, you know, go do all this other stuff. It's like, yeah, that's when I was, that's when I was seeking immaturity. I'm seeking maturity. I'm seeking growth. I'm seeking success. It takes a different pattern, different mindset. It takes a, whatever it takes mindset to get there. Okay. And so part of that is saying, Oh, all the people making money, all the people that are successful, they're going to be at this event and they're willing to take their 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years of experience, put it into an hour long talk, condense all of that time, all of that experience, all of that wisdom into an hour long talk for each speaker. And they're going to teach me exactly what they did to win. Is that going to be a million? Like if that could help you to earn millions of dollars, or let's just say hundreds of thousands of dollars, what would that be worth? Again, if you wanted to get into McDonald's, you got to spend millions to make hundreds, all right? You got to spend millions to make hundreds of thousands. So if here you have the ability to make millions or even hundreds of thousands, how much is that worth to you, right? There, you can't assign a value, right? You can, you can count how many seeds are in one apple, but you can never count how many apples come from a single seed. Right. So every one of these events, you're planting seeds, you're planting seeds and you're going to grow the orchard of wisdom and experience and mindset. It's going to allow you to have the lifestyle that you've been seeking. And so in the in January, when we go to this event, the people that are serious, the people that are seeking change, that are seeking more, that are seeking extra, right, are going to be there. See, in this business, you, you're going to fall into three categories. You're either here as part time. You're kicking the tires. This is a hobby for you. 
you're full time, you're doing this for a means to an end, meaning you're doing this as a job, you're doing this just to put, uh, you know, money in the bank, uh, which is fine. By the way, both of those, no judgment, right? Wherever that fits in, in your life, cool. We're happy you're here and we're happy you're part of our community. But really, the people that are going to win big here are the people that have decided to become elite, the people that have decided to master the craft that is this business, to master the craft of leadership, to master the craft of uh, financial services, to master the craft of closing, to master the craft of inviting, master the craft of how to win friends and influence people, right? To master these crafts, they've made the decision to become elite, all right? And if you're, will if you're willing to make that decision, or you're trying to figure out wh where you want to fit in, you need to be at this event because it's at these events that we make the decision. And even if you go to the event and you decide, hey, this isn't for me, that's okay. Think of all the time, effort, and energy you just saved yourself, all right? So at the end of the day, like by no means are we saying that you have to do this with us, that this is the only path to success. There's lots of, all roads lead to Rome, right? There's lots of paths to what most people consider success. Here, we just know how to get there. We've cracked the code. We know exactly what to do. And, and if you will just follow those steps, you'll get there out there in the wild on these other ideas that you might have on how to get successful or, or where to go, right? I'm sure you can be successful in anything you do if you put your mind to it. We just can't help you do it there. Here, we're willing to lock arms and help you do it because we are doing it. This isn't something that we are guessing at. Right. There's several. I'm going to read off some numbers of income here in a minute of people are our, our top five uh, from you know last week or last month. And it's like. These are not this is not guessing. This is not. I wonder how this works. This is we have this dialed into a science. And if all you'll do is just follow, if all you'll do is just listen, if all you'll do is just let go of the person that you used to be to step into the person that you were meant to be. All right, this is this is going to work for you, but you have to let go of all that shit from yesterday and realize that today is a different day with a different you. And so is tomorrow. Right. Um, I love there's this uh, bodybuilder named Derek Lunsford, and he always uh, when he goes to lift, uh, he always says it's a it's a great day to grow. It's a great day to progress. It's a great day to get better. Right. And that's the mindset you want to have is like, don't waste this day. Today is a great day to grow. Today is the great day to progress. Today is the great day to become wealthy. Today is the great is a perfect day to uh, cement yourself in your family's legacy. All right. And so when we go to this event in January, uh, there's going to be some people that you need to hear from. First and foremost, there's going to be a guy speaking named Andy Albright. He started this brokerage. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, money isn't everything, okay? But for those of you that are have financial goals, I think it'd be safe to say that somebody that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars might know a thing or two about growing your wealth, okay? And so, when I first met Andy, he was uh he he was talking to me about this business and uh, I didn't quite understand it because he's got a thick accent and he's from North Carolina, he talks real fast. Uh, he's like, well, why don't you come with me to Dallas and we'll talk more about it? And I'm like, cool. When do you want to go? He's like, right now. I'm like, how are we going to get to Dallas right now? He said, on my jet. Guys, I said, you have a jet? He's like, I've got a couple of them, but I got one with me. <laughs> I've got a couple of them, but I got one with me. Guys, I've never in my life, never in my whole life had met somebody with a private jet, let alone Jets, jets, plural, multiple, more than one. Okay, uh, I, I, I was like, that's crazy. He's got, uh, he's got something like a few hundred houses. Like the guy is just on another level, and he was willing to teach his lifetime of experience on how to how to create wealth to us. And all we had to do was just show up. We had to get a ticket for a couple hundred bucks and show up to his events where he poured into us. Where can you go to learn from somebody worth that has a net worth of hundreds of millions of dollars? Where, where can you go, right? You can go on YouTube and all this kind of stuff where they put you into a funnel and you have to pay more and more money and they never really give you the secrets. 
All right. They just keep putting you into a deeper level funnel that's more expensive. Or you can pay a couple hundred bucks and they can just tell you straight up what you need to do to win. Right. So Andy Albright's going to be there. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Stephen Davies. God, I love Stephen Davies. Stephen Davies, uh, when we first got in, Mark Hutchinson was the first one that really put us under his wing and taught us how to do this. The second guy that really caught us under his wing was Stephen Davies. And Stephen Davies has a miraculous story. He started this in his early 20s. Uh, he responded to a, 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 an ad in the newspaper. And he started this in his early 20s. And within a couple of years, I think it's two or three years, he made his first million dollars in a year. He built a team and he sold personally. And uh, so he's in his early 20s and he's a million dollar a year earner. I, that blows my mind. And he built such a big team that he actually left for almost, uh, it was over 10 years and he still continued to make money. And he's been with the company, let's say 24 years. I don't know the exact amount of years, but it's something like 23, 24 years. And he's made that many millions of dollars. So he's still making a million dollars a year all these years later, even though he took a decade off to help raise his family. Like, can you even process that? Can you imagine building something right now and, you know, three, five years being in a position where you could travel the world for 10 years? And every time you look in your bank account, there's more in there than when you looked last. Can you imagine a lifestyle like that? Well, there's people in our company that have done it and are willing to teach you how to do it. If you just show up, if you just make the decision that you're not messing around anymore, you're not doing this part time, you're not even doing it full time, that you've decided to master this craft and become elite. All right. Stephen Davies. We also got a guy by the name of Terry Edwards. Guys, listen, and we're, we're going to finish up here in just a few minutes, but I really want you to pay attention to this. I think a lot of people can relate to this. I know I can. Um whether it be, let's say, a relationship with a with a failed relationship, you know, with a significant other, a lot of times maybe we're in, you know, so the, a lot of times it's right place, right time, right person or right opportunity, whatever. There's usually three variables. And so a lot of times people might be in the right place at the right time, but with the wrong person. Or maybe they're at the, the right person, but it's the wrong place, wrong time, right? It's like a combination lock and you got to have all three. Well, Terry Edwards... Um, he needed to grow. So he wasn't quite the right person. Uh, and maybe he wasn't in the right place. Uh, and it definitely wasn't the right time, but over time he became, he was able to get those three, three pins, those three rollers into the place to unlock financial freedom. So I watched Terry for many years. Uh, we, we were in a, a, a business together a while back and I watched him struggle, 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 struggle for years and years and years. And we have several people on our team. This is a very close story to them as well. But he struggled, 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 struggled. And he eventually lost his confidence and he just gave up. And he went into corporate America, got into banking and all sorts of stuff. And then he ended up stumbling upon uh, the National Agents Alliance, Legacy Life, same thing. And he, he decided to give it one more go. And with the uh, with the mentorship of some of these other leaders I've already mentioned, uh, Terry went from never earning more than like fifty thousand dollars a year with our other business, all right, to now he's he's he, I think he's closing in on half a million dollars for the year. It's hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's radically transformed his family's future for generations, okay, because he decided to keep seeking, right? Seek and ye shall find. It's not, it's a lot of it's timing. So if you've been somewhere and you've given it your all and it didn't quite work, it, you might not have been the right person at that right time, right? Or it might've been in the, you might've been the right person at just the wrong time or the wrong place, all right? But here, what I can tell you is I've, I've never in my life seen so many people that have really struggled in other places come to a place and succeed. Now, they are working very hard. This is not something where you can just get in this and get lucky. You have to put the work in. But uh, my mentors always taught me, get good at something worth getting good at. If people are making hundreds of thousands, millions, tens of millions, or even hundreds of millions of dollars in this business, and we have access to them and they're willing to teach us, again, it's one thing to have access. Imagine all the celebrities and athletes that you wish you had access to, and there's no way. You would, you would get shut down you know, you a hundred feet before you even got even close to them, right? Uh, or you can get close to them, but you can't afford the access or the priority with them. 
here just by joining just by locking arms with us and saying i'm ready i'm ready to be the ne the next one i'm ready to be the one that gets up on stage i'm ready to be the next leader i'm the one you've been looking for by just saying that by just raising your hand and, and deciding to put in the effort right and being coachable and teachable these same people they not only will give you access they'll not only help you but they will be joyed. They will be full of joy to help you succeed. And it's like, where else can you find that? Where else can you find that without a spin, without a gotcha, without some back end kind of, you know, catch? It's like, there is no catch here. Okay. And so I've never seen so many people succeed in such a short amount of time. You go through story after story, 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 after story of the people on our team. And you hear, over and over and over again, the same story. I tried to succeed for so long and I, and I just, I gave up on myself. I gave up on my dreams. I lost my confidence. I lost, lost my mojo. I just didn't think it was ever going to work out for me. Then they come here. There's a clear system in place. There's tons of support and you have all of us willing to teach you and give you access to everything we know. And you see one after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, after another, after another succeed like never before. And I'm so proud of that. And for everybody on the call right now that that's you, we are so proud of you. We are so unbelievably proud of you that you were willing to first lead yourself and you were willing to give yourself one more shot because we doesn't matter how much we believe in you. doesn't matter how much we want you to win. If you're not willing to raise your hand up and say, it's me that you've been looking for. It's just not going to work, right? So you have to put your hand up. You have to say, I'm ready. I'm ready to make something happen in my life. I'm ready to be that person in my family history. I'm ready to be proud of who I see in the mirror. Then we can lock arms with you and go and, and get after it because we know how to make this work, right? And so you've got Terry Edwards. Terry Edwards is absolutely crushing it right now. You've got Eric, Bear, Eric, Eric Belair, guys. Eric is a riot. And, and I just quickly want to tell you about Eric because, again, when you go to this event, these are the people that are going to be pouring into you. And every single one of them, without exception, started exactly where you are right now. They all started with nobody on their team and never had done this before. Every single one of them. And they all succeeded and they're, they're going to teach you how. But this guy, Eric Belair, his story is super special because he's former military. And, and our heart is, you know, like anybody that says I'm willing to sacrifice myself for other people, just respect for miles. We, we love you. We cherish you. And uh, Eric Belair got out of the military. He, he felt like he'd lost everything. He lost several people that was very close to him and he was suicidal. He went from being in the darkest place of his entire la life, even after serving, even after, you know, doing everything for, for us, he just felt alone and he felt like he was never going to amount to anything. He felt like he was never going to see it. And he just felt like the only way out and what was best for his family was to take himself out. And it's such a sad story because that's so many people's story. That's so many people's story. And so you've got that. And then he just, and then he found the alliance. He found, uh, you know, this brokerage. He found this group of people, this community. And now he's the most joyful person you've ever come across in your life. Like, when you meet this guy, he's like a cartoon character. You're like, this can't be a real person because he's so full of happiness and so full of joy. And his bank account is like busting at the seams. This guy's making hundreds of thousands of dollars uh, a year now. He qualifies for every single event. He's always on the leaderboards. And it's like this community, this business saved that man's life. And how many countless other people that have the same story, they just haven't had a chance to get up on stage and tell that story yet. So Eric Beller is going to be there. I'm super fired about Bell Krause, guys, guys, Bell. She was another one that when we first got in was so nice to us and just wanted to help. And it was creepy. Have you ever gone somewhere and people are just too nice and you're like, something's not right here, right? People aren't this nice. And this is just a genuine soul. Bell is one of these people that really literally is that nice and so caring and so kind. She came in and we're not on our team, but she was immediately like, how can I help you? She's amazing. Uh, her husband uh, was special forces, uh, Black Hawk helicopter pilot. She was in the military as well. She was in the bomb squad. She was in a building. Something happened. The building collapsed on her. Um, it's a crazy story. Uh, she goes on to be a mom. The, the husband is uh, deployed. 
you know, doing all these special operations in, in Iraq and Afghanistan and all this stuff. And uh, she's raising two daughters, one of them special needs. And she finds a way, anybody that has excuses has not met Bell Krause yet. She finds a way to start doing this business just to make a, some extra money because uh, she didn't want her husband going into war anymore. Uh, and, and she starts making an extra $50,000 a year just doing Saturdays. And then she starts doing two days a week and doubles her income and triples her income. And now she, right now she's the number one annuity producer, I believe, in the company. Absolutely crushing it. Super proud of Bell. You're going to hear her story. We've got a bunch of other, other speakers, but there, there's about five or six other people that we're not going to have time to talk about. But understand, there's nowhere else in the planet that you're going to be able to go and get this level of uh, growth, this much collapsing of time frames, where you're going to have the best of the best of the best that are normal people. Like when you meet these people, you will be like, they're just like me. They're not like when you go to a Gary V or a Tony Robbins or something like that. And you're like, these people are larger than life. I'm not like that. I'm not like these people. You will meet every one of these people with the exception of Andy, because Andy is just his own element. And you will be like, yeah, they're just like me. They're just like me. They just found a system and found a community uh, uh, and found an opportunity that they could get behind and that could get behind them. All right. And uh, so what I'm going to encourage you to do is if you are uh, if you are ready to take your business seriously, treat it like a business we can pay you. If you don't treat it seriously, it's a hobby. Hobbies cost you money. Businesses are designed to make you money, okay? And so what you need to go is you need to type in thealliancevents.com and go to the NatCon convention. And it's going to be super fun. Guys, they do an award night. There's going to be food. There's going to be awards. Uh, we're going to do our Legacy Life Top 10 awards. Uh, then the entire company does awards. Um, it's it's by far the most fun event of the year. We get to dress up in you know tuxedos or evening gowns, cocktail dresses, whatever is your vibe. We get to dress up. Uh, we get to party. It's it's a lot of fun. So if you like having fun, you'll be there. If you want to learn systems on how to win, you'll be there. If you're motive, if you're money motivated, success minded, and you know you're competitive, you'll be there. Um, you know, or if you just really care about people and you want a community that's going to wrap their arms around you and uh, it, it just love you for who you are and, and help you to succeed. Every piece of that is going to be at this event. Uh, the price right now is uh, two ninety nine, which is a joke. And I mean that with all the respect in the world. One second. By the way, shameless plug, if you guys haven't tried this liquid death flavored water, we're not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just recently discovered them and they are fire, fire. I made fun of it for a while because I'm like, why would anybody do the can thing for water? Now I'm like hooked. Anyways, so uh, the price for the tickets is a couple hundred bucks and you're going to pay a couple hundred dollars for for, for uh, the hotel. You're going to pay a couple hundred dollars for a flight. It's in Dallas, Texas. Super easy to get to. They have, you know, uh, it's, it's very cheap to get to. You could drive there if you needed to. Um, if you need other people to stay in a room with, we'll, we'll put together a, a group of people that are looking for roommates. We'll pair you off with people. Guys, listen. Anything other than being there is a pre-planned excuse. If you're already feeling the resistance, that's the old corpse. That's the old you trying to talk you out of the new life you're pursuing, okay? Just do it now. Take action now. Remember we talked at the beginning of the call? Never take an inspired moment for granted. If you are inspired, take immediate action no matter how small. Maybe for you, it's just getting your ticket right now before the, the ticket prices are going to go up more. OK, so it's like get your ticket right now where, where it's inexpensive. It's like if you're going to go anyways. And by the way, there's a payment option. Uh, so if you if you need to make a do the payment option, you can absolutely do that as well. But make the decision to go now. OK, and it's two hundred nine. So let's say all in you spend a thousand dollars on this event but it helps you to earn tens of thousands. And that's the way you want to think about this stuff. It's not the money it costs you to get there. It's the insane amount of wealth you're sacrificing if you don't, right? You're not going to regret spending a thousand dollars because you're going to spend that on a, you know, mocha frappa, you know, cookie something frappuccino with 20 pumps of God knows what at Starbucks at some point. Okay. Um, so might as well put it, you know, bet on yourself. But Andy always said, Andy says something that, that really, uh, gets my attention. And, and I say it all the time. And I love this. He said, everybody will make a million dollars in this business. It's just about how 
long do you want it to take? If you don't want to follow the system, sure, you can still make a million dollars here, but it's going to take you many, 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 many years. Okay. Everybody will make a hundred grand, but would you rather make a hundred grand over 10 years or would you rather make a hundred grand in your first year, in your first six months? Right. Uh, we had a couple, Kim and Sean Miller, their very first month, I think they earned, you know, 40 some thousand dollars in their very first month with us. Okay. And that's an extreme example. It's not common, but just understand like things can happen quickly here once you make the decision. So pay, pay the couple hundred dollars to start your business. Again, it's a, it's a drop in the bucket. It's a, it's a zit on the dog's butt. Okay, of what you would have to invest in a, in a regular brick and mortar business. And here you can earn way more than that. Okay. Um, I'm just checking my notes here. Cool. So that's that's about all I got, y'all. It, it's it's just this like we need to make a decision tonight. You know, what do you want? What do you want with the next 12 months of your life? The 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 the, the money in your bank account the 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 what you see in the mirror right the, the your performance at the gym the quality of your relationship with your your spouse with your kids with your friends your family with your pets all right it's all a culmination of what do you value do you value instant gratification or do you value purpose right you have to choose. Are you seeking attention? Are you going on social media seeking short-term hits of dopamine with likes and comments and attention? Or are you trying to build yourself? Are you trying to build something that you're going to leave behind? Are you trying to create purpose? Are you trying to create a legacy, right? You can't, th th there are two different paths and you have to decide what you want. All right. And we'll help you get there. So whether you're doing this part-time, full-time, are you ready to become an absolute master at this craft and become an elite member of this team of this community of this company um you know i thank you for for sharing this last hour with me i hope that you found it valuable um but nothing changes unless something changes okay so if you were entertained over the last hour that's fantastic but i more so hope that over the last hour at some point you've made the decision to take one step it all it's just one step Get in the habit of taking one step. Even if you don't know where that step leads, just take a step uh, because you cannot steer a parked car. You have to be in motion to change direction, okay? And uh, I want you guys to win so bad. We all want you to win so bad, regardless of whose team you're on. We want you to win because every single one of us was in your shoes at some point in our business, okay? But we love you very much. Thank you so much for being part of this movement. Thank you so much for being part of Legacy Life. Let me just check this real quick. Um, perfect. Um, thank you for being you and your future self more so than anything is thanking you for deciding to uh, switch directions, leave your old self behind, uh, grab a new key for the new door, become the new person that you're intended to be, be your best self. Let's go out this week and absolutely kick the, you know, kick ass, um, Let's step into our greatness. And uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for having, for coming and visiting on the Monday Night Legacy Life team call. We love you lots. And we will see you Thursday for the opportunity presentation. God bless. Let's go kick some ass.